In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss probability with replacement and without replacement. Now I'm going to use red, green, and blue marbles. Without replacement means I take a marble out, then another marble, and then another marble without replacement. Replacement means that I take a marble out and I put it back. I take another marble out and I put it back and I take the last marble out and put it back. So let me add some marbles to my screen here and I'll drop them all in. I wish I had some cool sound effects but I don't. So I have 15 marbles and let me count them one at a time now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six red marbles. There are one, two, three, four green marbles. There are one, two, three, four, five blue marbles. So if I add them all up together, I have 15 total marbles. I have six red, four green, and five blue for a total of 15 marbles. What is the probability to pick a red marble, a green marble, and a blue marble in that order with replacement? And that's what I'm going to calculate now. The probability of a red marble is equal to the total number of red out of the total which is equal to six red marbles out of 15 total, which is equal to 0 0.40. That's the probability of picking a red marble. And now I put it back, replace it. And then what's the probability of picking a green marble? So I take the total green out of the total this is equal to 4 out of 15, which is equal to 0.27. That's the probability of picking a green marble. And now I will put it back or replace it right there. And then I'm going to calculate the probability of a blue marble, picking a blue marble, which is total blue out of the total which is equal to 5 out of 15. And this equals to 0.33. That's the probability of picking a blue marble. Now let me replace it. With replacement, the denominator always remains the same. In this case, it's always 15. That is with replacement. I take all these probabilities and I multiply them together. I multiply 0 0.40 times 0 0.27 times 0 0.33. And this is equal to 0 0.036 or 3.6%. So the probability of picking a red, green, and blue ball with replacement is 3.6%. Now, I am going to pick a red marble, a green marble, and a blue marble without replacement. And I'm going to calculate the probability of that, without replacement, that is. Picking a red marble, a green marble, and a blue marble in that order without replacement. The probability of picking a red marble is equal to the total red out of the grand total. This is equal to six red marbles out of a total of 15 marbles. And this equals to 0 0.40. Now I pick a red marble and I don't put it back without replacement. Now I have five red marbles and 14 total marbles. Then I calculate the probability of picking a green marble, which is equal to the total green marbles out of the total 
the new total actually, which is equal to four green marbles out of 14 marbles, which is equal to 0.29. And that's the probability of picking a green marble. Now I have three green marbles and 13 total marbles. And then I calculate the probability of picking a blue marble. And this is equal to the total blue out of the new total. And this is equal to 5 out of 13, which is equal to 0.38. And that's the probability of picking a blue marble. Without replacement, the denominator goes down by one each time. It's not constant like it was with replacement. Now I multiply these three values together. And this is equal to 0.044 or 4.4% 4 .4 without replacement. Let me slide this over so you can compare with replacement and without replacement. I would encourage you to go back and think about why there's a difference in probability between with replacement and without replacement. Notice I use probability of red, probability of green, and probability of blue as my notation, and I try to simplify it so you can follow it easily. Your professor in textbook probably uses like a probability of R and, and even a probability of A1, something like that, and that really sucks to be honest with you. It's confusing. And the difficulty is just understanding and how to translate the probabilities. It's common to assign an event like A1 to a probability instead of writing the whole thing out each time. And that's what's going on here. And again, this notation sucks. It's confusing because you're trying to learn statistics and probability. You don't need to be translating notation. In the end, good luck. So share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Questions and comments below, as always. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always posting new information. And this is a compilation of a playlist, and I'd encourage you to go through the whole probability playlist.